Hey everybody. Tonight we're going to talk to you about something that uh, a lot of guys have been asking about lately, and that is the DFCO or the D cell fuel cutoff settings. This is a setting that basically cuts the injectors completely when you're in deceleration mode. Um, you're going to notice a lot of people find popping out of the exhaust when this happens. That's normal. You're also going to find some people with manuals and running a, ch uh, a clutch uh, are actually getting stalls at red lights or uh, slowing down uh, periods. And that's just because your map levels are dropping so low that uh, it doesn't actually recover in time to shoot fuel back into the system. So I'm gonna show you how to change those settings and what those settings are. We're first gonna go into your number six, which is your pro tuning section. We're then gonna go to number six again, which is rev limit cell cut. Now this is an offline mode so please ignore uh, what I'm doing here. Um, if you're in your car these settings will already be there. So as you can see here this is your DFCO enable temp uh, which is 68 degrees. You can adjust that to basically anywhere from minus 40 to 300 degrees. If we go to the two important ones, which is cut fuel map and return fuel map. These are the two that affect a lot of people. The cut fuel map is 28 map. The return is 30. So what does that mean? It means that when your map falls to below 28 map and the max drop off of the RPM is at 220 or less, it actually will cut the fuel completely to your system. And you'll actually see your AFRs go up to about 19 to 20. Again, this is normal. However, when you're running a manual, you'll find when you press your clutch in a lot of times, it's going much lower than that. I've seen as low as 13 um, on one person's car. These settings are better for an automatic transmission and much less so for a, a manual. What I suggest setting these two would be setting the cut fuel map down to, uh, let's say, we'll go down to 15 or 16, let's say 16, okay. And then we'll change the DFCO to 18. So these would be good values for a manual car. If you want to disable it altogether, you can either change your cut fuel map down to zero or enable your temp, uh, temp enable up to 300. Hopefully you never hit that temperature. Um, another setting you can look at is the return fuel. If you find that when you're coming out of D cell and DFCO, your AFRs are still a little high, you can actually adjust this value higher. What this does is when your map gets above the return map value, it'll actually squirt fuel into uh, the, uh, out of the injectors. Uh, this setting will tell you how much fuel is being injected. So if you do want the DFCO feature, but you find that you're a little lean coming out of it, you just increase this value. I find uh, people that are a little lean usually going up to 80, 85. As you can see, uh, the max value is actually 298. So you can actually crank quite a bit of fuel coming out of DFCO if that's what you choose to do. Hope this helps everybody. Thank you.